what is redox reactions? Redox reactions is basically just a chemical reactions that involve the transfer of electrons between two chemical substances. So we can illustrate like a transfer of electrons between two chemical substances. So let's say initially the electron is owned by this first chemical substance. After the redox reactions, this electron is going to be removed from the first chemical substance to the second chemical substance. And whoever loses the electrons, we will say that it undergoes a process of oxidations. And whoever gains the electrons, we will say that it undergoes the process of reductions. So this is why sometimes we can describe redox reaction as a chemical reaction where oxidations and reductions occur at the same time. Because when somebody loses electrons, must be another person gaining that electrons. If this is too tough for you, you can think of redox reactions basically just like shopping, where we must have two processes occur at the same time, but we're just going to have a transfer of money in between two buyer and seller. So whoever that loses the money, we will say that he undergoes the process of buying. And whoever gains the money, he is undergoing the process of selling. So in this example, we are using buying to illustrate the process of oxidations. We are willing to lose everything else in order to gain oxygen. And oxygen is illustrated by the iPhone. In order to get iPhone, we are willing to lose everything else. Meanwhile, reduction is illustrated by selling process here, where we say that if we gain the electrons, for here, we say the money is the electrons. So let's have a recap here. Redox reaction is basically just a two process occurs at the same time, which is oxidation and reductions. But in chemistry, we don't say about money, instead we are transferring electrons. And we're willing to lose the electrons is what we call as oxidation process. So for example, if you are the person A, after you throw away the electrons, since we know electron is a negative charge, so you can imagine that you throw away all your negative thoughts. So now you become a positive person. So this is why we have the ionic equation like this, where we say that A, after throw away the electron to another side, it becomes positive. Meanwhile, reduction is the gain of electrons. So this is why we have oil rig, where we say that oxidation is the process where we lose the electrons. Meanwhile, reduction is the process where we gain the electrons. So imagine if you are the boy, where you receive a lot of negative thoughts. And now, you become a negative person. So this is why we can write down the ionic equation like this for reductions. So can you see that eventually, one losing the electrons, and one is gaining the electrons. And this process might occur at the same time. So this is why we call it as a redox reactions. Eventually, they tell us that Redox reaction can also be explained in terms of transferring HO, H-O-E, where they say that H represents hydrogen, O it represents oxygen, and E represents electrons, where oxidation is all about oxygen. So when we see oxidation process, we always think of gaining oxygen, if willing to lose everything else but oxygen. Meanwhile, reduction is a process of losing oxygen but gaining hydrogen or electrons. So let's explore more about the transferring of hydrogens. So let's have an example here, where we have hydrogen sulfide mixed with chlorine gas. So what really happened here is, you can see that eventually at first, this hydrogen is owned by hydrogen sulfide. But after this redox reactions, sulfur is going to be alone. So obviously, we can see that hydrogen sulfide lose is hydrogen. Meanwhile, if you're losing something, must be somebody gain it. So the chlorine now gaining the hydrogen. So it's why we have two hydrogen chloride. 
So if we write down the chemical equations and we try to look at it, and so obvious that hydrogen sulfide loses the hydrogen to become sulfur. Meanwhile, chlorine eventually gains the hydrogens. So remember, we said that oxidation just about gaining of oxygen. It's willing to lose everything else. So it's why we say that hydrogen sulfide loses the hydrogen is an oxidation process. Meanwhile, chlorine gaining the hydrogen is eventually the reduction process. So this is how we can say redox reaction in terms of hydrogen. Let us see how we can explain redox reaction in terms of transferring of oxygen. So let's have this example here where magnesium mixed together with carbon dioxide. After the reactions, we can see that magnesium will form a bonding with oxygen to become magnesium oxide. Meanwhile, the carbon dioxide will eventually lose the oxygen. Because we know that if somebody gain the oxygen, must be somebody else losing the oxygen. If you write the chemical equations, we can see that magnesium gain the oxygen. Remember, if we are so desperate about the oxygen, we are eventually undergoes the process of oxidation. Meanwhile, the carbon dioxide here is losing the oxygen. That's why we can see that it undergoes reductions. So this is how we can say in terms of oxygen. Let's explore more about how can we explain redox reaction in terms of electrons. Let's say we have magnesium atom mixed with the oxygen molecule. As we know, one is metal and one is non-metal. They will eventually form a ionic compound by ionic bond. So this is why we have magnesium oxide, which is the ionic compound, where we have magnesium to become the positive ion and oxygen becomes the negative ion. So if you write the chemical equation, this is the chemical equation for these reactions. As we can see here, magnesium in the beginning is just atom have no charges. But after the reaction, it becomes too positive. So basically we can write it as the magnesium initially have no charges, but after the reaction, it becomes two plus. So do you remember, if you become a positive person, means that you did throw away the negative thoughts. So this is why you say that we throw away the negative thoughts. But how many negative thoughts that you throw away? If this is 2+, plus, means that you have 2 electrons have been thrown away. Meanwhile, for oxygen, can you see that in the beginning is a molecule. Molecule have no charges. But after the reaction, it becomes 2 minus. So this means that in the middle of the process, you must be receiving some of the negative thoughts, which is the electrons. But how many negative that you receive? Two of them. So now we can write the ionic equations just like this, where we say that magnesium in the beginning have no charges, but in the end is two plus. But we know if you become two plus means you lose electrons. As we know, what kind of process willing to lose everything else, which is oxidation. So this is why we say that magnesium undergoes a process of oxidation where it loses the electrons. Meanwhile, oxygen molecule becomes negative means that it gains the electrons. Oil rig. So we know oxygen molecule must be undergo the process of reduction. It's quiz time. We're going to highlight whatever can define oxidation in yellow color and whatever can define reduction in red color. As we know, we can explain the redox reaction in terms of the transfer of whole. But we also know that oxidation is so desperate about the oxygen and it willing to lose the hydrogen and electrons. So this is why we can say that oxidation can be defined as loss of hydrogen, loss of the electrons, but must be gain of the oxygen. Meanwhile, if you want to talk in terms of reductions, we know it must lose in terms of the oxygen. So it must lose the oxygen, but at least it gains the He, He is the hydrogen and the electrons. So we can just look through the selections. So we do for the oxidation first, 
So we look at the first one, gain of oxygen, is it? Yes, gain of oxygen. But it must lose the hydrogen and lose the electron. Lose of the hydrogen and lose of the electrons. Meanwhile, for reductions, must be lose of the oxygen, but gain both of the hydrogen and electrons, and we are done for these questions. So this is the answer. Now we have ammonia gas mixed with the bromine gas, and we have the nitrogen gas and hydrogen bromide as our product. So they ask us which of the substance is being oxidized. So do you remember that? We're going to look through first about the HOE. But for this case, it's so obvious that in the beginning, the ammonia have the hydrogen. But at the end, the hydrogen is now owned by the bromine to become the hydrogen bromide. So if we talk about hydrogen, we know oxidation willing to lose everything except oxygen. So losing hydrogen must be oxidation. So who is losing oxidation in this case? Huh, we know is ammonia. So we can say that ammonia is oxidized to become nitrogen because it loses the hydrogen. So we say that ammonia is oxidized to become nitrogen. But who is the one that getting the hydrogen? So as we can see here, the bromine gas is eventually gain the hydrogen to become hydrogen bromide. So we can say that bromine is reduced to become hydrogen bromide. Next, we have iron tree oxide combined with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. So we know we must check the HOE. And this one, we can see that they are transferring in terms of oxygen. So in the beginning, the iron oxide eventually have the oxygen, but in the end, it becomes iron, so it loses the oxygen. Meanwhile, carbon monoxide in the end, gain one more oxygen atom to become carbon dioxide. So this is all about oxygen. So as we know, oxidize must be gaining in oxygen because we are so desperate about oxygen. So who is gaining oxygen? is carbon monoxide. So this is why we can say that carbon monoxide oxidize to become carbon dioxide. But who is being reduced? Being reduced means that you lose the oxygen. So we can see here, the iron oxide now is reduced to become iron. So this is why we can say that iron tree oxide is reduced to become iron. So don't worry about the Roman first, we will discuss this one in the letter of this chapter. Now we have water combined with magnesium to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas. As we can see here, they are transferring in terms of oxygen. So who is the one that gaining the oxygen? So for this case, Magnesium is gaining the oxygen to become magnesium oxide. So we know magnesium is being the one oxidized to become magnesium oxide. Next, which of the substance is being reduced? So whoever loses the oxygen is the one that being reduced. So who losing the oxygen here? As we can see here, the water, which is H2O, lose the oxygen to become hydrogen gas. So we can say that water is reduced to become hydrogen gas. So one last question, where we have zinc plus hydrogen ion to form zinc ion plus hydrogen gas. Which substance is being oxidized? Write down the half ionic equations. So we know this must be in terms of electron transfer. As we can see here, zinc in the beginning have no charges, but in the end it becomes positive too. So we know whoever lose electron because oil rig, whoever lose the electrons to become positive is going to be oxidized. So we can say that zinc is the one being oxidized to become zinc ion. But how to write down the half ionic equations? So we know in the beginning zinc is no charges, but in the end it becomes zinc 2 plus. If you become positive, you must be throw away your negativity. So you throw away the underside become E minus at underside, but how many of the Electron you throw away must be 2 because of the 2 plus here. So this is why we can write an atom of like this. Next, which substance is being reduced? So being reduced means that you gaining of the electron right Rig because you become more negative. So you can see here, hydrogen in the beginning is a positive percent. But in the end, no more positive. 
So we know it must be receive some of the electrons. So we can say that hydrogen ion reduced to become hydrogen gas. How to write down the ionic equation is, we can say that H plus in the beginning, but in, at the end, it becomes just H2, which is hydrogen gas without any positive charges. So we know in the middle, you must be receiving some of the negativity. So we have E minus. But the thing here is we must balance the equations. So we hydrogen have two atoms at the right hand side. So it must have two at the left. So, but now we have two plus as well. So we have another two electrons that we receive to be balanced off. So of, this is how we write down the half ionic equations. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more video like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.